Hey there folks and friends, Connecting Dots here, Tuesday, February the 12th. Okay, this video is on the uh, Christopher Dorner, the, there's a shootout right now taking place with the authorities. I'll leave a link to this video and other ones. Um, apparently they got him surrounded in a cabin here. He stole a couple's uh, pickup truck, he tied them up. Um, one of them got loose, uh, notified the authorities, they hunted him down, he exited the truck and now he's locked in a cabin, they've got a SWAT team coming up, there's a picture of the cabin there, you can see some of the smoke, and uh, they've sent in an armored vehicle to pick up the injured uh, uh, deputies, and uh, they've sent in a SWAT team to surround him, and I guess we're going to have a shootout here. Now, I'll leave a link, if you if you don't haven't seen this whole thing here, the Manhunt Manifesto, I'll leave a link down below so you can go read it yourself. Apparently, this is what he, he wrote. Uh, also, apparently, he'd sent a package to CNN, Anderson Cooper, uh, with a note in it saying, I'm not a liar. Now, with this recent information that I've got on this, um, he says, it's not me. I don't know what to say about this. I've researched it. It's uh, not very, mainstream news has not picked it up except for the uh, Mexican authorities. And by the way, you'll notice on that first page that I was showing, one of the pages here that they have here, one of the videos, is regarding a hotel in uh, Mexico, Tijuana, Mexico. There it is right there. So they raided that hotel thinking he may have been there. And that's funny because in this... Uh, this statement here where he says it's not me that's exactly where he says he's located well I shouldn't say that's exactly where he's located but this is where the story is coming from and in the story itself here I won't read the entire thing okay I'll start from here the statement was received by a local news organization organization via fax from Cabo San Lucas hotel early Saturday I realize not the same hotel but regardless it, it's not me Dormer says in the statement I've been out of town on vacation and just heard the news that I am blamed for killings I did I did not and never would commit this manifesto the police are using against me is just a few ideas for a screenplay I'm working on with my former colleague Mark Furman tell my mom I'm okay once again the cops have it all wrong I'll be I will soon be in touch Okay, so I'm not sure what to think about this, but I decided to go take a look. Who's this Mark Furman fellow? What's that all about? Wow, wow, wow. You'll be surprised here what I found. So that's a picture here of Mark Furman. And uh, I realize Wikipedia is not the best source of information. I actually, my techie guy here has actually worked for Wikipedia as a moderator. And he told me, yeah, it's a load of you know what. The whole thing is agenda. Uh, the agenda is set. And uh, there's certain things that you cannot put on Wikipedia, no matter how accurate it is. The people that own Wikipedia don't want the truth out there. Okay, so you'll, you'll only get a touch of what's going on here. I'm not going to read the entire thing, obviously. But, you know, again, he goes on to say something about... Um, oh, just the fact that the LAPD made a series of mistakes here. But isn't it interesting that these two... And, by the way, uh, Mark Furman, he was also... Uh, well, he actually, he retired before he was fired, but he says, it says here, as a result of this felony perjury conviction, he is banned from serving as a police officer again in, in most states. So I'm not sure if it's true. Were the two of them working together on some kind of screenplay? I'm not sure. I can't tell you, but it's kind of weird that this fax would come in and this guy is saying, no, no, hold on a second. We're working on a screenplay together. I, I have nothing to do with this killing nor the manifesto. Odd. Bizarre. I'm not sure what to say. Is this an, another play on our guns? 